hi all welcome to jquery tutorial video in this video i'm going to show you some uses of jquery effects some of the functions are like hide show toggle fade in fade out fade toggle fade to slide up slide down slide toggle animate and stop okay so these are major functions available in jquery which we, we can use to animate our elements in our web pages okay so this is our html i have already written this and it looks like this so we have uh, a div which contains all these things we will be using these two divs to show the effects in jquery so first div is actually a class which is containing a text and another div which is containing minus sign I have written little CSS to make it appear a little presentable. We will be dealing with CSS in separate video series. Let's focus on the jQuery part now. For now, um, so let's say on click of this show control minus sign button, which is a div actually, we want to animate on this area. Okay. Do some animation. So is an id so control is an id so id selector has to be used okay so on click i just want to do animation on this class Let's do fade, fade out. Okay. We can give time in millisecond. Save it. Refresh. You can see that the board area has disappeared, faded out. Okay. Fade toggle. combination of both fade in and fade out so if the element is hidden then automatically it will appear and it if it is uh, appearing it would disappear so toggle function detects automatically the state of element so you can see it has disappeared and again it appeared okay fade 2 is another function which we can use to Fed to an opacity like uh, 0 0.3, so it won't disappear completely, but it could get faded out, and the opacity is 0.3, okay, 30 percent. So these are fed, fed out, then we had slide up, slide down slide toggle is also very useful slide toggle this is not needed now i made some mistakes slide up slide down and slide toggle is combination of uh, both of these two <coughs> we can also uh, go to change the sign here because it's always appearing minus sign uh, right now minus is okay but when it disappeared it must be plus sign at that time okay so we can do a little bit of coding here like the text of so control so we can use this here because the event is uh, applied on this so control 
so this will select it and then HTML will select the text within the div. Now a simple if else will help us to check whether it's plus sign or minus sign. So if it is a plus sign then replace it with minus sign else plus sign now it would look a little more meaningful plus sign okay it's working fine now now animate is another function useful in animate we can apply any CSS style CSS like we can increase the height something like 100 pixel These are some of the animation effects uh, in jQuery. Stop is another function which which we can use uh, while the animation is uh, running or in the mid of animation. If we apply this stop function, then the animation will stop there and there and there. So let's see stop. For stop, I can apply a button. stop animation on this element so we just have to do stop let's apply time here if I click on the stop it just stops there and there ok so let's see again Thinking, but it hasn't completed. I clicked on a stop and stopped. I again clicked, it started again. Okay, so the stop is useful in that case. Okay, so this is all uh, in today's video. Uh, I'll be recording new video very soon. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, be updated with all the updates in jQuery and other technologies I will be posting after. Thank you so much for watching.